You ever feel that no matter what you do, it seems like you're getting deeper in debt. When you're going to school, you're accumulating debt. When you have an emergency, it is more debt. Even when you pay for your house, it is additional debt. When you look at Asperian, they said Americans on average have about $100,000 in debt in various forms, according to a survey in 2023. Now, of course, there is a way out of debt, and that is the problem that we're going to be looking at today, how to get out of debt and the common way to pay it off, and personally, the best way that I've used to pay this off. Now, of course, we have the snowball method, we have the avalanche method. We are going to be focusing this video on the avalanche method. Now, the snowball method does kind of um, seem to be an appeal for a motivation factor, maybe a psychological factor. But when you think of the avalanche method, it is by far mathematically the most logical way to pay it off. And of course, it is going to save you more money. When you think of the elimination of debt, the ability to save more money while you're eliminating debt allows you to pay off the debt much faster. Now, of course, to set it up when you list out all of your debts, when you're looking at that budget that you built, listing them from the highest APR to the lowest APR. That is right. We are looking at rates. We are not looking at balances on here. We are not looking at payments. We are not looking at anything except the annual percentage rate. The highest rate is going to be the one that we're going to target, and that is going to be the first one and the highest one that we are going to go ahead and knock out. Now, of course, like I said earlier, it might not be the one that is going to be paid off, eliminated the fastest, but putting those extra payments onto that highest APR is going to give you the most bang for your buck. So a simple example of this is let's say you have three credit cards. You have one at 20%, one at 25, one at 30%. We are going to list that one at 30% first. It is going to be the one that we are going to focus every single dollar on. So what does that mean for the other two lower APR cards? We are only going to do the minimum and only the bare minimum on there for the payments. Every single dollar you can save, every single dollar that you have extra, whether it's from the side hustle, working bonus hours, even budgeting, trying to cut your expenses and really live within your means, all of that extra money is going to go right into that highest APR. Because of course, when you're looking at that, you're going to pay it off exponentially faster. And that is the order that we are going to look at when we break it down. Now, when you think about this, paying more money towards that again is going to have a more dollar for dollar impact because you're going to be eliminating debt that is at a much higher rate. And a lot of people don't do this systematically. A lot of people say, okay, I want to pay off my house. What is the driving force? What is really the factor be before paying off the house? Or why do you want to pay off the house? If it's at a good interest rate, it might not make the most sense. I also see this with a lot of people that save. They're putting money in, you know, three, four or 5% CDs while they're carrying credit card debt, while they're carrying auto loan debt, you really need to systematically think of all of the debt you have in your entirety. And you could do this with everything, even just not just above and beyond the credit cards. You could do this with everything to see again where you're going to get the most value. So how do we start this? How do we really get it? Taking a note of the debt. This is where you need to know your balances, your APRs and your minimum payments on those. This is going to be important as we get into these steps. Second one, how much can you afford? What is your commitment based on the budget that you already have, the spending plan? What is the commitment which what, what you can put extra on that debt? If it's 20 bucks, if it's 50 bucks, if it's 100 bucks. Now also remember that every other debt you have is only the minimum, is the bare minimum. I don't want you putting a lot of extra money towards your mortgage payment every month when you're sitting on very high APR credit card balances that are just eating away in your budget. Now, of course, we are prioritizing the debts in the highest APR, that is going to be the focus. That is going to be the focus in its entirety. Every extra dollar, every place you can budget, every place that you can squeeze out another 10, 15, $20, you're gonna put it towards that highest APR. Once that one is eliminated, you are gonna roll it down in a debt avalanche method right to that next one. Now, of course, there are a few additional ways that you can save on this debt. Now, this looks at different options. You can have a really solid start, but you can snowball this or really avalanche it right down a mountain very, very fast when you look at other options to save. Now, some of these include balance transfers. Balance transfers, you could transfer it over to something that is a zero APR. There's a lot of balance transfer credit cards out there that give you, you know, 12 months, 18 months. You have to do the math. You also have to read the fine print. For a lot of these cards, they do charge a 3%, a 5%. There usually is an upfront fee. So the credit card companies are getting their money upfront, but you have to know exactly what it's going to pay and what it is going to be subject to. 
And also, what is the rate after the promotion promotion has ended? Because you don't want to take a card that's 20%, transfer it to 0%. Then, of course, with the best intentions, you don't pay it off in its entirety. Now it's sitting at 30% versus the 20% with roughly the same balance. Now, of course, you could also look at some of the bigger items in here, like a personal loan. When we think of debt consolidation loans, they run about 8 to 10% as we are sitting in today's market. What that means, again, if you're running a 20, 25%, 30% credit card in there, if you can consolidate multiple bills, putting them into that 10%, even looking at the debt avalanche method, that 10% might be the highest one that you still have, depending on if you have auto loans, which are usually lower if you have a mortgage, which is usually lower. But that is the point where you're gonna focus every single dollar, just like we did in the debit or the, the credit card scenario, you're gonna focus every single dollar right into that 10% APR until you completely eliminate it. Now, if you've gotten to the point where debt is really out of control, the balances on these cards are astronomical. This is where a lot of people, and I don't like the idea at all, but it is one that a lot of people do. And that is going in for like a home equity product. This, of course, you got to be careful with because not only can it have fees associated with it, is you are putting your home up as collateral. So now at this point of the consolidation of loans, consolidation of that credit card debt, you're putting your home up as collateral, meaning if you're not making that payment on the home equity that you did for debt consolidation, let's say that's due to job loss, let's say it, you know you got injured at work, something happened where you couldn't make that home equity payment, now your home is up as the collateral, meaning the financial institution could take your home in the entirety just because of the credit card debt that you had that you consolidated. So you have to make sure now, of course, when you think of personal loans, when you look at home equity loans, have to be very, very cognizant of the APR that you're gonna be paying on there, but you also have to look for origination fees, which a lot of institutions do charge them, and also early termination fees. So a lot of places will charge you a fee upfront. When you do the loan itself, they will charge you a fee on the back end if you pay it off early, which you have to be aware of it because a lot of people do get burned with this. Now, of course, one that you do, of course, have to be very, very careful of is a lot of institutions will do 0%. Um, when you look at like a Best Buy card, if you look at like a Gardner White card, there's a lot of places that will give you 0% for a certain amount of time. Could be 12 months, could be 18, could be 36 months. If it is not paid off in the entirety in that time frame, even though the interest is technically 0% during that time frame, let's say you take it out for 36 months, on that 37th month, if it is not paid off in its entirety, they're gonna backdate three years of interest on that payment. Again, reading the small fine print is very, very imperative. I have seen a lot of individuals through the, the financial counseling program that have had Best Buy cards, that have had you know furniture purchases, that when the interest came due, and again, when you think of three years of interest calculated all into one payment, it was incredible with how much money they would be losing. And of course, they had it at 0% because that is what the offer was. Had to just do the, the buy now, pay later, which it seems America is absolutely upset with, obsessed with. But of course, when it comes to debt and the elimination of debt, you have to get rid of it, guys. It is one of the absolute biggest detrimental things. Not only does it take away your time, that is something that you really have to think about. How many hours do you have to work on a monthly basis just to cover the interest on the loans that you do have? And of course, it takes away your money. When you're paying all that money, it is money that you're not putting into emergency fund. You're not putting into savings, your kids' college funds. You're not putting for retirement. You're not putting on a vacation home. There are a lot of ways. And of course, getting rid of debt in the entirety, once it's gone, you will never want it back in your life. And I'll catch you in the next video.